That's it. Kids and periods. And welcome to Cooking with Dave again. This is Cooking with Dave. I'm Dave. Uh, I am the world's greatest chef. I know I am the world's greatest chef because it says so right here on Avery. Avery, it went alive with us. Today we're doing a special video for Pam. We're cooking some fish. My sister Pam said, hey, can you cook me some fish? Show me how to make some fish good. She likes to cook fish, likes to eat fish. We're from Charleston. We like fish. I like fish too. I have a way of cooking fish today. We're going to cook some bacon. We're going to render down some bacon, take the bacon out of the pan. The bacon is really not part of this. We're going to eat it as a snack as I cook because I like bacon. I'm going to take the onion and the garlic, put it right in that bacon, a little salt, a little pepper. We're going to put our fish, first we're going to coat it in cornmeal, and then we're going to put it right in that bacon grease. We're going to turn it over one time, we're going to turn it back, and then we're going to slide it in the oven at 425 for about 15 minutes. We've got a pretty good size, a pretty big piece of fish we're going to have to cook. Big piece of salmon and three pieces of cod. And I'm going to take it over to the stove. I'm going to do it all at the stove. We'll show you how we do it. I say, okay, now, this is what we're going to do. Take some regular fish, some cod fillets, put some garlic and salt and pepper on them. I'm going to sprinkle them with some cornmeal. All right. I'm just going to roll them in that cornmeal. No big deal. Just roll them in cornmeal. Make sure cornmeal is all over them. Gonna cover them in the cornmeal. That's what we do. And then after the covering the cornmeal, I'm gonna do a little more covering than that. Covering the cornmeal, gotta cook some onions. We'll put some onions in this pan. Alright? Bacon grease with onions and right. bacon grease onions and some garlic. garlic. Yeah. Onions and garlic. We're gonna have these things caramelize up, cook them up, and then we're gonna put our fish right on top of this. Bacon grease and onions and garlic. Now if you don't want to use bacon grease, you don't have to. You could use some, you know, olive oil or some butter. Put some, anything to sweat your onions out with. Get them nice and caramelized. We just happen to use some bacon grease. This is good and what we had. But we're gonna get the best flavor. Now take my cod that I got cornmeal on and I'm just gonna set them right inside on those onions. See that? It's just cod with cornmeal on it. That's all it is. A little salt, a little pepper, a little garlic. Then we're going to do the same thing with our salmon. Take our salmon, the skin side down. All right, put salt and pepper on it, garlic. Then we're going to cover that with a little cornmeal on, right on top of it. See that? Cornmeal, right, cover it with cornmeal right on top of it, just like that. All right. Just like that, and then we're gonna lay it right in that pan, right in the middle of those other fish. Tell them to move over because the salmon has come to play. What I'm saying, look at that. Mm. All right. You let it simmer. Tip on the crust, and you flip it. Tip on the crust on the other side. Yeah, we flip it one time, try to get a crust on both sides, and then. We'll have our oven preheated to 425, and we'll slide it right into the oven. That's a pretty big piece of salmon, so that, that thing's probably going to take, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes to cook inside the oven. We'll cook on top of the stove probably for five or six minutes, maybe, maybe a little longer. That's a big piece of salmon, so maybe a little longer than that. We'll see. All right, we're cooking over medium heat. We've been going a couple minutes. Just going to let it keep on going, keep cooking. We don't want to turn our fish too much. We'll start falling apart on us. So we're going to make sure we're going to flip it one time, and then we're going to flip it one time back, and then we're going to put it in the oven. Now we'll go ahead and flip them over one time. All right, onions sticking on the back side. That's nice. That's what we want. Onions all up in that thing. Looking good. Looking good on that side, too. We got our bread on it still. Look at that. Oh, look at all those onions just stuck. Oh, that's beautiful. All the onions stuck to that thing. Let's put some onions on this side over here too. Put some onions over there. Oh, the onions. Are, oh, look at that. Mmm, man. That's gonna be good. Maple bacon, onions, and garlic. That's what I'm saying. Crust, you know? That's what I'm saying. All right. I'm, oh, oh, don't mess with that. Salmon cooking already. I'm gonna let that salmon sit there a little longer though. I think those, those uh, cod fillets are looking wonderful. Just like that. Just, oh, man. Gonna be fall apart juicy. We won't mess with those anymore. We won't flip them again. We'll leave them just like that. That cod will fall apart. You flip it too many times. And our salmon's doing fine. I like to flip it once. 
I'm gonna let it go a little longer before I flip it. And I'll get a big spatula underneath that big piece of salmon and I'll flip that thing over. And I'm gonna do it one more time. And we'll be all right. I'll, I'll use this big spatula right here. Oh, we need to put it together. Don't I'm just gonna cook that on this other yeah, side just long fun. enough to give me a crust on that one side and I'm gonna be happy with it. And then I'm gonna flip it back over one more time and I'm gonna cook skin side down in the oven. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna flip it one more time. Back to the skin side. You see I'm developing a crust. You see that? I've got some golden brown going on there on top. That's just what I wanted right there. Just golden brown. Just on top. So that I can have a little crust. And now I'm just about ready to take it and stick it in the oven. I have the oven preheated to 425. And I'll put it right in the oven at 425 and cook it just like this until everything is just white and just fluffy. Well, the salmon won't be white but it'll be fluffy and flaky and it will still be moist and juicy and tender and tastes like bacon onions and garlic man that's gonna be wonderful okay here's our salmon and it is light and fluffy it's got a little crust on both sides that uh, cornmeal I put on there we cooked it with the onions and the maple bacon and the garlic it is just going to be wonderful it's going to be fluffy and light you know it's done whenever it just starts to flake like that and be fluffy that's when your fish is done mmm man it's good I cooked it mmm man that's good mmm son I cooked this in the oven for about another 15 minutes after I cooked it on top of the stove because it's such a big piece of fish if you don't cook one this big you don't have to spend that much time on it alright there's our salmon it's going to be wonderful it's going to be good serve a little potato salad Maybe some hush puppies. It's gonna be very nice. Uh, it's been cooking with Dave once again. Hope you enjoyed the fish. Every day.